Hello everybody, this is Offset Robotics and this is going to be our stringing guide for our box tube kit. In your utility bag you'll notice there are three strings. Three 800mm strings and one longer 1500mm string. These three strings are up strings and this one's a return string. So let's start with the up string. Take your string, uh, make sure you haven't got any frayed ends, uh, this will just make life easier. What we're going to do is pull our final stage out and pull our stage out into an access hole here. What we're going to do is thread our string through one of these small holes out to the other side and what I'm doing is I'm guiding it through the other side which it should come out should come out one of these bigger holes and we'll pull it through. Now we're going to turn it around and thread it back through the same hole. Same thing as before, thread it back through the same hole and it should come out the other side from the same big hole, as you can see like that. Now we're going to pull it all the way through as such and tie a knot. Please note this video is not at all a knot tying video and I would highly recommend uh, learning how to tie good knots separately from this video. Please don't take my knot tying advice at all. We're going to take our string, thread it through our V-bearing out like this and thread it back through the bearing shield like this. And what this is going to do is this string is going to go to our motor and when the motor pulls the string up, the first stage is going to go up. Your second length of 800 millimeter string is intended to be used in the same hole as before. So since there are two V bearings and V bearing shields on both sides, um, you can use this another 800 millimeter string to tie up to this hole, go through this V bearing, and same thing, go to your motor. The reason both of these are off center is because we use a cascade up string, which will make more sense once we've strung the last the next stage and also a continuous return string. So this cascade up string has to be pulled half the distance that the return string has to be pulled in order to retract the box tube. Because of that, our spools for our up string and our return string need to have different diameters. Therefore, they are slightly off center and we have the return string reel in the center and our up string reel slightly off center. So moving on, we're going to extend our final stage like this and you'll see there's a similar access hole. Same deal as before, what we're gonna do is take our string, just like that, thread it through, all the way to the other side, which should come out pretty easily, like that. What we're gonna do is take this and thread it back Sometimes it helps to cut the end if it's a little frayed, like this. With a quality tool, so that you don't end up with more frayed ends. Like me. And we'll thread it back through, same as before. And pull it out the other side. Same thing as before, we will tie off right here. So tie a knot. Once again, this is a disclaimer. Uh, don't take this video for knot tying advice. Please learn how to tie your own knots well. But for demonstration purposes, we'll tie a quick knot like this. And same as before, we can pull the final stage down, thread it through, be careful of the pocketing, pull it through, back through the bearing stage. And this time we're going to retract our slide kit fully like this. Thread it through underneath. out like this. We're going to make sure our slide kit is fully down 
take a zip tie and I like to curl the zip tie a little bit like this around my finger just to make it a little bit easier but I like to curl the end so as you can see when I slot it through now it should come right up fast to grab like that wrong way around. Tighten our zip tie and we're going to take this string from the middle stage and what we're going to do is tie it off to this zip tie. So for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to tie it as tight as I can to the zip tie. or at least reasonably tight, like that. And this zip tie is going to be very helpful in tensioning later. So what you can always do is cut the zip tie, chuck in another zip tie and retension the string if you ever need to retension. You shouldn't have to touch your, you shouldn't have to touch the string that goes to the reel at all. And I'll demonstrate now. By adding those two strings, what we've now done is that when we pull the up string now, you'll extend the box tube in a telescoping manner. Now let's take our 1.5 meter string. This is our return string and let's string it. So what we're gonna do is flip our box tube over and simply just thread the string through like that. Slowly feed our tube all the way through, just like that. Till it comes out the other end, like so. Great. Now, what we gotta do is simply tie it off. So, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna tie it to this strut here. This is one of the access holes for a future fourth stage upgrade that we will release. But as you can see, now pulling the up string extends the slides and pulling the return string retracts the slides, as you can see. Up and return. So you should be able to see now how the up string is moving twice as fast as the return string. That's because we have two stages on these box slides. If, we, if you were to add another stage, then you will have three strings, hence your up string will be three times as fast as your down string. And of course, the up string and the return string will mount to your spool. One last quick tip is the same way that we've used a zip tie here to tension our second up string, you can use a zip tie in the same way to tension your down string. So I'd highly recommend whatever you're tying your return string to, whether it be the actual tube itself like we've done here, or another mount or something else. I would highly recommend using a larger zip tie to add another tensioning point alongside this just to make it really, really easy to make sure that your tension is perfect. Thank you for watching our string guide. Don't hesitate to contact us on Discord. And I really hope this was helpful. Thank you.